Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating how you can add users into your Zoho CRM system. So once you log into your Zoho CRM system of course you'll be presented with the home screen like usual. From here you'd need to go to the cog in the top right hand corner. Uh, do ensure that you have administrative permissions otherwise the system is not going to let you go into the back end of the system. So we'll select the cog and then from here we want to go users and controls and we want to select users. So we'll select users and then from here we'll be presented with a list of all the active users inside the Zoho CRM system. Uh, given that we're wanting to add a new user we just want to press the big blue button plus new user. Now the system is going to ask us to fill out some basic information about the user so first name and of course last name. You'd also need to provide an email address. Now bear in mind that this email address will receive the invitation link from the Zoho CRM system and it will also receive the, um, the reminders and notifications that come out of the CRM system for that particular user. So do ensure that you are using the most applicable email. I would assume this would be their business email address. Uh, now you'd also need to decide a role for this new user. Inside the free version of the Zoho CRM system, you have two roles. You've got manager and you've got standard. Now, the roles are essentially the business hierarchy, but they do also have data ownership hierarchy built into them as well. So I'll briefly explain. Essentially, a standard user wouldn't, would only be able to see the records that they own. And anyone above them in the hierarchy would be able to see the records of their own ownership and below them in the hierarchy. Um, standard roles would also only be able to see their their own records and not records that are owned by other standard users. I know this is very complicated. I will go over what that means in more detail in another video, but essentially it, it's the business hierarchy and who's seeing what data. In this instance, I'm gonna select the standard for this user and then we'd also need to select a profile. A profile is essentially permissions inside the Zoho CRM system. So again with the free version you've only got two. You've got administrator and you've got standard. Uh, unless you want um, the user to be able to make changes inside of the Zoho CRM system I would just select the standard profile. If you did want them to have the capacity to make changes, enter the back end of the system etc you'd need to um, select administrator. Of course in the paid version um, for both role and profile you could build them build them out far more so the role you could have your business structure your business hierarchy built into the system and then for profile you could have a you know obviously it's for standard users and then you could have manager permissions which enables them to do a little bit more and then also administrator as well and uh, build that out as well so get more capacity to ensure that everyone's doing only what you want them to be doing inside the CRM system. Once we then press save, obviously I'm not going to do that because I haven't got an email address. Once you press save, that email address will receive an invitation link to the Zoho CRM system. If they follow that link, they'll be asked to provide their full name, so first name, last name, and then they would need to create a password associated with their email address. Once they do that, they then follow the link through and it will take them directly into the Zoho CRM system. Well, they'll instantly have full access to the system and all the data inside of it. And that would be it. I hope this video has been useful and has clearly explained how to add users into your Zoho CRM system. If you do have any further questions or need help with Zoho CRM at all, feel free to drop me an email at nick at crmcrew.co.uk. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.